Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve the lead code question number 36, Valid Sudoku. The question is, determine if a 9 cross 9 Sudoku board is valid. Only the filled cells needs to be validated according to the following rules. And the rules are, every row must contain digits 1 to 9 without repetition. Every column must contain digits 1 to 9 without repetition. And every 3 by 3 sub box of the grid must contain digits 1 to 9 without repetition. And there is a note section saying that a Sudoku board could be valid but not necessarily solvable. Only the filled cells needs to be validated according to the above mentioned rules. And we are given couple of examples. We have to return true if it is a valid Sudoku board. And we have to return false if it is not a valid Sudoku board. In this example, in the first column, 8 is repeating 2 times. So this is not a valid Sudoku board. So we have to return false. I hope the question is clear. Now let's get into the approach. If you take an example of this Sudoku board, it has 9 rows starting from index position 0 to index position 8 and it has 9 columns starting from index position 0 to index position 8 and it has 9 sub blocks. A Sudoku board is valid if all the rows and all the columns and all the sub blocks should not have any duplicates and it should have values from 1 to 9. Now let's see how to identify a particular sub block. A sub block has 3 rows and 3 columns. If you take the mod of 3 of index position of the row and mod of 3 of the index position of the column, we can identify this particular sub block. Similarly, another example, if you like to identify the index position of this particular sub block, we can find the mod 3 of the row value and mod 3 of the column value. I hope the approach is clear. Now let's get into the solution. I am declaring the row as the list of set of 9 values. Row equal to a list of set of 9 values for i in range of 9. I am declaring each element in a list as a set in order to remove the duplicates. Similarly, my column is also a list of set of 9 values. So let me copy this and I am going to change this as column. My sub block is a 3 by 3 matrix. So I am going to name this variable as sub block. It is of range 3 for j in range of 3 and I am going to enclose it in a list. Now I am going to iterate over all the rows and the columns using for loop for r in range of 9 for c in range of 9 because it has 9 rows and 9 columns. While iterating over the board, if we encounter a dot, we don't have to do anything and we can just continue. If board of row of column equal to a dot, we can just continue. If the value is already in the row index or in the column index or in the board index, that means that we have already visited that value, so we can immediately return false. Let's implement that. If the value in row index or the value 
in column index or value in subboard of row mod 3 and column mod 3 then return false if the value is not visited add the value to the row index and to the column index and to the sub block index let's implement that row of r dot add the value column of c dot add the value sub block of row mod 3 column mod 3 dot add of the value after iterating through all the values return true return true now let's submit it the solution got accepted i hope you like the video I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.